story to tell. The Su-27 was developed by the Soviet Union at the end of the Cold War and served more or less the same role as the American F-14 or F-15 fighters. It was a fast and maneuverable air escort or air superiority fighter, and to this day, it retains an important position in the Russian Air Force and a host of other nations. When Pavel Sukhoi developed the Su-27 fighter, he did not consider exporting it in the future. The Su-27 was completely different from the brother, the MiG-29 fighter, but since its export approval, the Su-27 has become one of the most popular fighter jets in Asia. The first Su-27 customer was China. Before the dissolution of the Soviet Union, China reached an agreement to buy the Su-27 with the Soviet Union. So how did China do? And why, from a hostile country not long ago, bought the Soviet national Chesuar fighter? China's access to the Su-27 was benefited from the warm in Sino-Soviet relations in 1989. During Soviet President Gorbachev's visit to China in May 1989, he proposed to reopen arms and equipment trade between China and the Soviet Union. In an interview published in the Soviet magazine in September 1989, the Soviet Union stated that there were no political obstacles to the purchase of Chinese MiG-29 fighter jets. In May 1990, China sent a delegation to the Soviet Union to discuss the purchase of advanced fighter aircraft. During that time, the delegation visited demonstration fly operations of the MiG-29, Su-27, and various helicopters. The Soviet Union tried to sell MiG-29s to China because China had a long history of using and improving MiG. However, after witnessing firsthand the new Soviet fighters, the Chinese were most interested in the Su-27. The large combat radius and tactical performance of the Su-27 fighter was much higher than the MiG-29, won the love of the Chinese. The Su-27 adopted an advanced Soviet Union's first operational fly-by-wire control system. It had more powerful engines and a longer lifespan. This was a combat platform with a lot of potential for improvement and future upgrades and could be the next generation Chinese fighter design. Chinese designers could learn a lot from the Su-27. China has carefully calculated the purpose of purchasing the Su-27 fighter in order to modernize its efforts and in the long-term plan. Their plan was to replace the country's outdated J-7s, at the same time to build a modern aviation industry from copying and improving fighters designed by the Soviet Union. Chinese military experts believe that the fighter designed by Sukhoi 
was superior to the MiG fighter. The Su-27 had an aerodynamic form and a large fuselage, more suitable for refinement and upgrade. The Soviet Union may not want to export Su-27 fighters, but economic difficulties at that time forced them to agree to export the Su-27 to China. The Chinese side emphasized the close relationship that the two countries had in the past, and at the same time hoped that China and the Soviet Union could improve their relationship after a long indifference. But in general, economic benefits were the real goal. After the conclusion of the 1990 winter negotiations, China and the Soviet Union signed an agreement with China to purchase 24 Su-27SK and Su-27UBK aircraft. Although the Soviet Union collapsed later, Russian President Yeltsin still complying with the agreement. The first batch of Su-27 fighters was delivered to China on June 27, 1992. But that was not enough for the Chinese. China clearly saw the serious economic difficulties the Russians faced in the 1990s and prompted Russia to transfer production technology of the Su-27, including the complete production line, to China. Agreement was reached in 1995. China then began to produce the Su-27 under license. A series of Russian decisions then brought huge profits to China. The original Chinese aim was to have the Su-27 to access advanced designs, then to copy and develop its own aircraft using Soviet aircraft technology. In recent years, many types of Chinese fighters have demonstrated this strategy, such as the J-11 J-15 and J-16, which are produced on the basis of Su-27. China partially localized and gradually moved towards mastery of own production, despite weak opposition from Russia. The aircraft China copied from Russia's Su-27 such as the J-11, can carry a variety of Chinese-made ground attack weapons, including guided bombs. China is also developing its own devices, from oxygen generators to radar warning receivers, and has complete mastery of modern fighter building technology. Although China continues to make advances in fighter technology, it continues to buy Russian fighters, primarily to obtain advanced technology for the latest improved version of the Su-27, the Su-35. China is still on the road more than 30 years ago, importing and copying Russian aircraft. And Russia, for economic reasons, still exports aircraft to China. China's philosophy is to buy Russian aircraft to get the top-notch fighter technology, learn from it and develop it. And China has done very well so far. My video about how did China obtain the Su-27 from the Soviet Union in the past ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.